Now that pleas have been entered in the case, some may be wondering how long until a potential jury trial. KSBY's Melissa Newman explains the court process ahead. Richard, attorneys I spoke with tonight want to remind people the wheels of justice move really slowly. In fact, some have speculated it's likely we won't see a trial begin in this case until next year. Take everything that you've seen in the movies or on TV, just throw that right out the window. Local attorneys say the court process in real life moves much slower than what you may see on your screen. A lot of that is due to the discovery process, which is reportedly underway in the case of Paul and Ruben Flores. Discovery is the uh, generating and transferring of the reports that have been prepared either by law enforcement or by third parties. Those reports could be hundreds of pages long and may include search warrants, evidence found, and witness statements. Defense attorney Scott Taylor says he is currently assigned to two murder trials in San Luis Obispo County. He believes being as thorough and methodical as possible is important when going through the discovery to put together a case. I can either do it right or I can do it quick. Uh, I, I typically can't do both. Next comes a pre-preliminary hearing, which attorneys say is often a more procedural court date to confirm everyone is ready to go to the preliminary hearing at the next date. Attorneys say preliminary hearings can take weeks to get through. Preliminary hearing is a fact-finding determination where the court is required to determine if a crime was committed and if there is reasonable suspicion to believe that the person that has been accused committed it. Stein says this is different than an eventual trial because it does not have to be proved beyond a reasonable doubt that someone committed a crime. Following that, the two will potentially be arraigned and enter pleas again. Attorneys say they are then entitled to a jury trial within 60 days. Taylor says while the process may be a lengthy one, he hopes people keep an open mind and maintain their compassion for everyone involved in the case. When we get to the end of this, regardless of the outcome, uh, it this is a horrific process on everyone involved and nobody's going to come out of this feeling like a winner. Now, one potential detour that could happen this week in the case is what happens when Ruben Flores has his bail setting hearing. Due to a new ruling from the California Supreme Court on setting bail amounts, it's possible Ruben Flores may be released from jail and put on electronic monitoring instead. In the studio, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Well, some cases may take a while. Everyone has the right to a fair and speedy trial. It's up to defendants whether or not they want to waive their rights to extend the time frame their case may go through the court.